Becoming the number one best book for teens of 2009, Beautiful Creatures is the tale of a small southern town threatened by the arrival of a new girl with unbelievable powers. Now for more, we want to welcome the co-authors of this novel, Margaret Stoll and Cami Garcia. Good to see you, ladies. Nice, nice to meet you. Here. Now, my first question, and probably the first question you ladies always get, how do two people work together to make a novel as one? Our answer is always very carefully. <laughs> we, uh, we, we've been best friends for about 10 years. We could finish each other's sentences, and we kind of write that way, too. And we write over and over each other, and just we're merciless, and we hack and slash until we can't remember who wrote what. Now, Cami, you were saying that you start off one, we'll write one chapter, the other will write the next. We'll outline together, and then maybe I do chapter one, and she'll do chapter two, and then we swap. We write over each other's work, and we do it several times, so it's like a running stitch in sewing, back and forth. Yeah, definitely. And it works out. So you basically format this vision of where you want to go, and then you both creatively get to the same end point. Yeah. We talk about it a lot beforehand before we start writing, which helps. I exactly. Now, how long did it take you to write Beautiful Creatures? It took 12 weeks. That's it? Yeah, but then we revised it for about nine months. So when we go into classrooms, we say, when your teacher tells you to take another look at it, boy, you're, you're getting off easy. So how did you get the inspiration for the book? We were dared to write the book. You were dared? We were dared to write the book. I'll take any dare. Uh, well, that's still what we <laughs> We can't turn down a double dog dare. That's exactly so. right. But you didn't lick any frozen poles. No, we did not. Exactly. No, no, no. So we were dared by uh, Margaret's teen daughters and some of my teen students because we came up with the idea for the book, and they said, well, you won't write that book. And we said, yes, we will. And in 12 weeks, we did. And now we said, it's on. And this is the first book that you've written together, correct? Yes. It's our first book. It's our first New York Times bestseller. It's our first Amazon book of the year. It's our first book made into a movie. So it's all very exciting for us. Now, when you started writing the book, did you ever think it would get to this level? No. <laughs> we don't. We weren't looking to publish the book. We were really? just writing for seven for teenagers. <laughs> We wrote for seven teenagers, and they would come home from school and say, where are my pages? What, what do you have for us? So they kept you going. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got a text from a girl named Joyce, who I didn't even know, in the middle of the night, like three in the night, yeah. saying, I only have up to page 147. I need more pages. Oh, come on. When she should be asleep, she was yeah. up reading this. That's just how good the book is, and we've got a trailer from the book. Oh, I'd oh, love great. to see it. Now, here it is. So we're seeing some pictures right there. Typical southern setting, and there's a possible movie deal. In yeah, there is a in movie the deal with Warner Brothers. We uh, signed and we optioned a film with Warner Brothers and Richard Lebrovenis, who is a screenwriter. He did The Fisher King. He was nominated for Academy Award. Water for, he's doing Water for Elephants right now. And Erwin wow. Stock, who is a producer of fantastic movie out right now, Blindside. Oh, yeah. They yeah. are doing, uh, they're actually in Charleston right now. We just left them to come here. Unbelievable. So they're probably watching right now. And Hi it's guys. very exciting. Sends chills down my spine just to hear the success of your novel. And you're going to be signing books today, correct? Yes, 4 p.m. at the Blue Bicycle with our good friend Jonathan Sanchez. And that's right downtown on King Street. It's beautiful down there. Head out. You can't do anything else outside today, so you might as well get a copy of Beautiful Creatures. Get it signed, ladies. Yes. Best of luck to you. And we're leaving you with a signed one also. So maybe we'll twist my arm. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, you, maybe you have someone out there who, uh, who needs it at home. Excellent. And if you do need the book, we're going to give it away. 849-2535. The fourth caller wins that book. So good luck to you. And ladies, thank you, thank so, you much. so much. Thanks for having us. It's raining. No, it's okay. We've had many good times here in the past. Okay, good. Pie. There you go. And another excuse to come back. More pie. <laughs> More pie. Good stuff. All right, well, straight ahead.